Hi there. Hey, in today's video, we are going to take a look at three ways visually impaired recognize everyday things that might surprise you. Hi there. My name is Mike. This is the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. And on this channel, I focus on overcoming low vision challenges. So what do you say we take a look at the three ways a visually impaired person recognizes things? Here we go. <music> Okay, first thing we probably need to cover is what is a visually impaired? What does that mean? Well, for, for many folks, it means that they're dark blind. Others, legally blind. And then there, maybe the more common is age-related vision loss. And, and all these can kind of get us where we're considered to be or diagnosed as visually impaired. Just depends on how well we see, how well we don't see. Now, for the dark blind individual, they don't see anything at all. I mean, they're insensitive to light. They don't see light. They are sensitive to different types of lights, like really hot, bright lights. They can feel that. But as far as being able to see the light, they don't see light. They don't see anything, colors, movement, or anything. Now, on the other hand, a legally blind person generally has one of two issues. One is a visual acuity thing. So they don't see very clearly. They don't see very sharp. They don't have any detailed vision, which is kind of the category that I fall in. I'm, I'm legally blind for different reasons. They're illness related, their injury related causes to a person being legally blind, in addition to birth defects or injury that, that may occur. Now, we still have some vision that we can use. Sometimes it gets us in trouble because our mind's eye, depending on when we lost our detailed vision or became diagnosed as visually impaired, our, our mind's eye has a category of all kinds of images that we've seen in the past and, and what those are. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Then we have the folks that due to old age and, you know, the environment in which they, they live in, they exist in, all impacts our vision along with some other senses as well, which leads me to the three ways that a visually impaired person does recognize everyday things. Common people, or commonly, maybe I should say, it's commonly held that someone that is visually impaired has better hearing, has a better sense of smell, and a better tactile, or better sense of touch. Which, yeah, maybe, probably not. The difference being that a visually impaired person uses all these other senses, you know, smell, touch, and hearing, to validate what their mind's eye is telling them that they see in conjunction with whatever their visual acuity is. Does that make sense? hope so. Let me try and clear that up just a little bit. For instance, a folk that are legally blind or have a visual impairment because they have a low field of vision. They may just have a small little hole that they can see everything really clearly. And it may be in their central spot of focus. So then they can read and see characters on a page or characters in a word one or two at a time. They just have to piece all that together. Others may have a, a field of vision that is out in their peripheral somewhere so that, well, they can see movement, they can see light, they can see dark, but they don't see in a lot of great detail. So for, for folks like that and myself, I just have a visual acuity issue. I have no central spot of focus. I use my peripheral. And what that means for me is poor death perception and a hard time recognizing people or recognizing different cars. They all look the same to me. But anyway, so the way our senses, 
let's just take our sense of smell works. If we, as a visually impaired person that is legally blind, our mind's telling us we see one thing because our eyes pick this up or pick that up and our mind's eye is kind of figuring out, okay, this is what that means. That's one bit of the puzzle, one bit of the mystery. The next part would be like, uh, if, for instance, if we thought we saw smoke. Now, smoke is usually a pretty good indicator that there's fire. I mean, that's the, the quickest, the most painful thing that we could experience, maybe the most life-threatening or injury-threatening. So we got to validate that. Okay, the smoke that we see, is it just steam out of a kettle? Is it fog or is it in effect, you know, smoke because something is burning? Well, our sense of smell would kick in and say, well, well, that doesn't smell like anything we'd recognize burning. Or maybe it does. Maybe it smells like uh, a wood smoke or something like that. It could be that it's just coming from the fireplace. We don't know it yet because we, okay, we smell something that smells like smoke. It looked like smoke. And when it comes to, say, our sense of hearing, you know, if it's wood burning in the fireplace or crackling sounds in the fireplace, that has one sound that our ears will tell us, well, yeah, that's the fireplace. Our nose will tell us, well, it smells like wood burning. And our eyes says, well, what's that smoke all about? So we, we kind of narrow it down that way. And if you want to get right down to it, if we start with our, what we thought we saw, what we think we smell, and what we hear, the only other thing we can do is either get closer to it so that it's more apparent we feel the heat coming off of it, which would be, you know, like our sense of touch. Then we know that, well, okay, it is the fireplace or whatever it is that's burning. It could be something in the oven. It could be something on the cook stove, but the cook stove, excuse me, or cook top, but they will have a different smell. So we compile all that different information and we interpret it differently than maybe a normally sighted person would. So, like in the situation we just talked about, well, we're seeing smoke, we're smelling smoke, we're hearing a crackling fire, and we feel that the heat is coming from the uh, fireplace. So, then that kind of leads us to what we need to do next. Hope that makes sense. So, that is a brief description as to how a visually impaired person recognizes everyday things using these three methods, these three, three ways, in addition to what sight they may have. Dark blind person doesn't have that visual acuity thing to go by, so they'll probably rely more heavily on the hearing, the smelling, the touch, those kinds of things. So, hey, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and put together some videos that describe in more detail and review maybe a few more tips and tricks on how a visually impaired person relies more heavily on these senses than say a, a normally sighted person might, you know, their, their their default position would not be, well, what does it smell like? What does it feel like? What does it, you know, sound like? I'll post some uh, links to some different videos in the description right below this. And uh, also we may end up with a, you know, the card up here, or at least on the, the end screen in the video. So, hey, if you found this useful, get any benefit out of it, I'll consider give us a thumbs up. You may want to go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. That way you'll be made aware when we do post additional videos on topics that are focusing on overcoming low vision challenges. If you think about it, you want to subscribe, that would be fantastic. While you're at it, go ahead and hit the notification icon over here somewhere. No, it's, maybe it's right over here. Oh, and uh, ring that bell so you get made aware of any time we post a new video. Or maybe when we have a spirited conversation going on in the comment section down below. Which I highly recommend you not be bashful. Help us out. Help everybody else out on the channel. If you have some thoughts, some theories, some experiences that you don't mind to share with the rest of us 
post that in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm sure our other viewers would enjoy it as well. So thank you very much for sticking around. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. Make it a great day. Remember, we're all working together to overcome our little vision challenges. Thank you. Bye.